All right, fellas, welcome back into the workbench today. And on Fan of Firearms today, we have a Carcano Moschetto or Cavalry Carbine. These just got imported in large numbers. I think RTI had a bunch, Classic Firearms had a bunch, stuff like that. So, lots of guys are getting their hands on these for the first time. You gotta clean them up, a lot of rust. So, I'm gonna show you how to take apart this rifle and put it back together today. So, what you'll need is a flathead screwdriver, a rubber mallet for some of those stubborn parts, and if you want to take the bayonet off, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver bit like that. It's got a small divot right in the center there. So, we're going to move back here and start with the bayonet. You can do this without removing the bayonet. But I would recommend it just because this thing is going to swing out and you're going to have an extremely long rifle to work with here if you don't take it off. So what you do is take your regular flathead. You're going to put it in this side. And somehow I have to do this around the camera. So please excuse me. There it is. All right. And you hold that and you take your special bit. Put it right in there, and then just unscrew it. And then once you get it far enough, you can just do this by hand. Just unscrew, take your spring and your cap there, put that to the side so you don't lose it. Take your bolt out, and then your bayonet comes right off. Now this rifle is much easier and much more wieldy to work with. So we're going to move back here the front barrel band and you have a flathead screw right in there. You want to make sure you use the appropriate sized flathead bits for this because these screws are old and you will strip them. So get one that fits just right and then unscrew that. All right, you take that screw out. Now this is where your rubber mallet comes in handy. You can just tap this a few times and it comes right off. Now, you move down a little further. You got your front sight here and you can just flip the front part all the way back and then remove the upper handguard. This is just a flimsy little piece of wood, but it works. Put that to the side. Now we're gonna move back here now we take the bolt out, cock the bolt, pull it to the rear, pull your trigger, bolt comes out. Nice and easy. And we'll put this aside. I'll show you how to disassemble this at the end. Now we flip it upside down and you have two flathead screws here. You're just going to go ahead and unscrew those. Again, these might be in there pretty good, whether rust or whatever. So make sure you use the appropriate sized flathead bits because you don't want to strip these because if you do, good luck finding them. And we're just going to unscrew that. The longer one goes in the rear, so just remember that. Then you can pull your whole trigger guard, the magazine assembly out, flip your rifle back over, and the entire barrel and receiver will just come right out of the stock. And then you can take a look at the stock, see if there's any cracks or anything like that. Uh, you could also, if you wanted to, let me see if I can get this on camera. You could remove this butt plate here, but it's not really necessary as long as this isn't like just completely destroyed by rust. You really shouldn't have to remove this. So I'm not going to. Then you put your stock aside. Let me just place that down here. And now you have your barrel and receiver. And there's only one other thing I would recommend you do, and that is if you get a small punch here, there's a small pin. And if you push this, which you shouldn't have to do too much for, so if you need to, you could use the mallet. And then you pull the pin out the other side. Oh, now I'm shaking the camera. And then your entire trigger assembly just comes right out. And then you can clean this, do some detailed cleaning, whatever you got to do. All right. Now, that is it. 
you are pretty much good to go with this rifle. Now, let me show you how to reassemble it, and then we'll get to the bolt. So, this pin goes right in here, and you see it's got a little rectangular cut out there. And then, take your trigger guard, or your trigger assembly, excuse me. You just want to make sure the spring lines up with the pin. Make sure this lines up correctly. And then, oh, there you go. And then you're just going to press it in. And then, you take your pin and place it right in this side. And there you go. And that's how you put that back together. All right, moving on down, let me get the stock. Now you're just gonna lay this right inside and it should just fall smoothly into place. Now you turn it upside down, take your trigger guard, magazine assembly, put that back on. Remember I said, Long bolt in the rear, short one in the front. And then you just tighten those down. This rifle is super simplistic. It's actually a really not half bad design for a rifle that is small and light. And that if you take it apart, there's only a handful of loose pieces here. It's really not that bad. And you just tighten this down. Good to go. Next, flip this on up. Take your upper hand guard, slide that right on. Well, you can just place it on if you'd like. Then you can depress this button. And this is what allows your front sight to move, or your rear sight. And then you can flip that up just to hold it in place. And then you move your front barrel band back. Give it a tap or two, just make sure it's seated properly. And then grab your screw, this long one right here, and it goes in the side with the little cutout there, right in. Grab the other screwdriver, because this screw is a different size. Then tighten that down, nice and easy. All right. Last step for the rifle itself is to place the bayonet back on. So, just go ahead and slide it in there. The side that doesn't have a raised surface is the side where your screw goes in. Good. And then you can just hold that with your finger for now. And then you grab your, your spring, put that on there. And I actually had to replace this spring, that's why it looks so new. And then you take your cap. Put it right over the spring, press down, and then tighten. I don't recommend you tighten this too tight, just because this thing can be a pain to get off. But once it's tightened down good, grab your screwdrivers. Let me get my little special cutout bit, right? And I'm only going to go about a quarter turn. That's it. That's all I want. Make sure it works properly. It does, and that is your rifle back together. So let's move that up here, All right? And now let's work on the bolt. All right, and now we're on to our last step, disassembling the bolt. So when you take the bolt out of the rifle, this is the configuration it will be in. What we wanna do is decock it. So you wanna grab on this piece here, pull to the rear, and then turn to the left, and that decocks it. Next, there's a plunger right here that will allow this cap to spin. So, depress that. You can use a screwdriver. I find it easiest. And then, spin it straight off. Now, normally, the cocking piece would just come right off of the firing pin. But, this one, the tolerances are just ridiculous. It is just so tightly on there that it's not going to come off. So if you experience this, then I will show you how to do this. Uh, if not, then normally this piece would come off anyway, and then you're on to the next step. So the next step is you want to take your safety here and depress it 
And then you'll see you'll have a little piece running along this track here. And then when you get it to about here, you want to turn to the left and then pull out. And uh, normally your spring, your firing pin, and your safety would come off, and then your cocking piece wouldn't be stuck on here. But it is what it is. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And the easiest way is you want to get a surface like a piece of wood, a desk. So here, if I can do a little bit of magic here, let me readjust the camera. Right, so this is the edge of the desk. I'm going to rest this piece right here against the wood, and then I'm just going to tap on the top of this screw head here. So, and there you go. And all the parts come flying off, of course, because they're under spring tension. Let me readjust, collect all my shit off the floor. Now, this cocking piece comes off. So let me show you what it would look like normally. So let me reset here. So under normal circumstances, this comes right off. If not, then you have to do what I just did. So that's off. And now you can see a little bit more clearly the safety run along that channel. Safety comes out, spring, firing pin, and then the bolt body. Pretty easy. So to reassemble this, you would, and this is the same if you had that issue that I had or if you didn't. So you take your firing pin and insert it. Make sure it protrudes from the other end so you know it's seated properly. Take your spring, put that in there, take your safety, and then you're going to see this notch has a channel to run in right there. And that's the channel that we removed it from. So I'm gonna depress it, run it into that channel, and then turn to the right. And now you're in here. And then you just depress it and run it along until it locks into place. Good. Now, your cocking piece, as you can see, there's a small little relief here. And there's also a part in here that corresponds, so it should line up like that. Now, because this is so tight, you're going to see here there's a gap. This would normally just seat normally. So I'm going to give it a few generous taps. All right, and then we'll seat it the rest of the way using the rear cap here. So spin. Spin one more, and as long as that's flush, which it is, you're good to go. So then you grab the rear cocking piece here, pull and turn to the right to cock it. And then I'm going to move all of my stuff out of the way. So we can pull the rifle back in the frame here. And we're going to take our bolt, insert it, pull the trigger. And then your bolt should slide in and lock as normal. Now let's do a quick functions check. So the rifle's cocked. Let's put it on safe, which is pushing down and turning to the left. The rifle is on safe. On open, won't fire. So let's take it off safe. Rifle's off safe. Fire. Rifle fires. Run the bolt to the rear. Forward again. Do one more safety check, just because we like safety here. Oh, come on. There it is. And then, and you're good to go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Carcano Machetto Cavalry Carby. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it found a little informational and useful, and hope it helped you guys out. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, please subscribe. Please like. Do whatever you got to do. Um, and other than that, have a good day.